Kyle Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing. Gregory Beck with Tucker Rocket Distributing. And today we're talking about exhaust systems for your motorcycle. Now in today's exhaust market, you basically got two options. You've got the slip-on. Or the full exhaust system. Now, why, Greg, would you choose a slip-on over a full system exhaust or vice versa? Kyle, sometimes the, the cost is an issue. The slip-ons are generally less money than a full system. Uh, full system, better looks, more horsepower. Now what exactly is a slip-on? The slip-on is generally the muffler at the end of the exhaust system that there's usually a joint available like this one that lets you pull off the muffler and put it back on again. Upstream on some bikes there might be a, a pre-muffler but they're generally just headers. So basically you've got the pipe that comes out of the heads of the motorcycle and come down. Those are called the header pipes. Those are the pipes that would remain constant on your motorcycle if you're doing a slip-on. So basically you undo the bolts, slide off the stock muffler body, and replace it with the aftermarket. True. Before we get any farther into this, let's talk a little bit about exhaust history. Uh, up until about the uh, 80s, most exhaust systems really were just a bunch of bent pipes and chrome. There wasn't a lot to them. Absolutely. You got single wall construction. They always turn gold or blue depending on how well they were uh, jetted. With today's exhaust pipes, you've got full length heat shields. You've got double wall construction, such as the hard chrome double Ds. You've got all kinds of things that make the exhaust pipe look really pretty when installed on your motorcycle. So those are the visual characteristics, Greg. What about the performance differences between a slip-on and a full system? The slip-on, ideally jetted, is gonna probably give you about, depending on the bike, four, five, six horsepower. It's gonna sound cool. Mm -hmm. The full systems, with the proper jetting and maybe an air cleaner to take advantage of that full system, it's probably going to up, up the horsepower considerably more. Absolutely right, Greg. Most exhaust and air intake manufacturers claim a 10 to 15 percent overall increase in horsepower performance when you combine an exhaust pipe, full system, air kit, and proper fuel management. Whether you're doing the exhaust, fuel management, or air intake, you're looking at balancing the air fuel mixture. The more air and fuel that you can combine together and expel out the back of the motorcycle, the more horsepower and overall performance gain you're gonna get. A, a uh, poorly jetted motorcycle, sometimes they buck and snort until you get into a part of the power band where they are properly jetted. So we're gonna cover that next week. We're gonna go through fuel management for both the fuel injected and carbureted motorcycles. Greg, a very common question that we have here at Cruiser Customizing, people call in, is, are the baffles removable? Most of these exhaust systems come with some sort of baffle. This one here is a spiral baffle, which is extremely common. But the question is, can I remove the baffle for louder sound? You, you physically can remove it. Not a good thing to do. It's gonna probably weaken the performance, but I wouldn't leave it out, no. So the main reason that you have a baffle in your motorcycle to begin with is to cause a little bit of back pressure, which the motor needs to function at 100%. Yeah, and keep it reasonably quiet, or, or not so loud. <laughs> there you have it, full system versus slip-on. If you're looking for maximum power and the greatest looks, full system is definitely the way to go. If you're economically minded, a slip-on probably the best way for you. So join us next week where we dig into fuel management for the fuel injected and carbureted motorcycle. What to look for so you can choose the perfect fuel management system for your motorcycle.